Yo, what is going on guys? It's Bruin Stu here, back in it with another video, and as you can see, I am going to do a Bruins talk. Um, the Boston Bruins 2023-2024 to season has officially started, and I just got to say, it's been a while since I've done a Bruins video, so I want to keep track. Um, I want to talk to you guys about what has happened. Um, I haven't done a video since last season, and... Wow, um, it's been too long, and like I said, the Bruins 2023-2024 season has started, and so far it's like seven or eight games in, and surprisingly, the Bruins, the Bruins are doing really good right now. The Bruins has, um, we are, I believe, we are six and one on the season so far. Um, we had some great wins. Um, we had a terrible, terrible loss a couple of days ago to the Anaheim Ducks. But um, I want to keep you guys updated on what happened during the off season. Um, obviously, you see my video about um, my thoughts and you know sharing my thoughts about the retirement of Patrice Bergeron, um, who's been carrying this, um, been playing in this um, league for so long now. And um, after um, our original captain, the Dina Chara, um, the Dina Chara. Um, Retired. He was replaced by Patrice Bergeron as um, captain, and Patrice Bergeron announced his own um, retirement during the off season. Um, I did a video about sharing my thoughts about uh, Patrice Bergeron's retirement, um, and another big name uh, announced his retirement. Um, a guy I've been watching on this team for so long. I love him. Um, obviously, there were some, you know, there were some questions about if he was going to return. Um, he decided to return for like one more year, and he did that. But unfortunately, this past off season, he announced his retirement. Um, I didn't do a video, but um, David Krejci um, announced his retirement. So we lost Patrice Bergeron, and we lost David Krejci. Um, it's unfortunate. Um, we let go another star that we picked up. I think he was only. I think we picked him up from Detroit or Buffalo. I can't remember, but his name was Tyler um, Burpiss. Yes, it was from the Detroit Red Wings for a it was for a 2024 for front draft pick. Um, we acquired him, but um, we let him go. Um, obviously, um, I think we yeah we traded him to the Toronto Maple um, the Toronto Leafs uh, whoever. Um, so that kid was great. I'm gonna miss him. Um, a lot of stuff has happened. Um, and another thing, we um, brought back a former Bruins. I love this guy. He won the 2011 Stanley Cup with us. Um, Milan Lucci comes back for a one-year contract. Oh, man, Milan Lucci. I love the guy. Um, but this is probably his last season, to be honest, um, obviously. And we um, signed a two-year contract. Um, Morgan Geeky, who's been... He's actually not bad, <clears throat> and we signed James Van um, Restisky, whatever his name is, to one-year contract. Who, by the way, he had two goals um, in our second game, which was pretty cool. Um, it was against the Predators. Yes, Predators, our second game of the season. Um, he had two goals. He's a pretty good player. Um, you know, obviously, um, we signed Trent Frederick, who's been on this team for a while, to his two-year contract. Um, like I said, um, the the retire the announcement of the retirement of Patrice Bergeron and David Krejci. So, and basically that's just that. Um, a lot of the guys got um, moved to um, Providence, A H um, L, um, obviously. And um, this kid, I love this. I love this kid. Um, oh, by the way, um, is announced because Patrice Patrice Bergeron. Um, has retired. They announced that this guy right here, baby, this guy right here, number 63, will be um, leading this team as team captain. And obviously, David Pasternak and Troy McAvoy will be your assistant captain this season. Um, Brad Marchand, I knew this guy. Um, I knew this guy was going to come through and become your captain. Um, Brad Marchand becomes team captain this year. Oh my God, I love this guy. Um, I have this. I have this jersey right here, baby. Sixty-three um, is your um, team captain. Like I said, David Pasternak is your assistant cap uh, captain, and uh, Charlie McAvoy is also your assistant captain. Um, 
But um, yeah, this this season has been um great. Um, obviously, um, it hurts my stomach to talk about what happened. Um, the Bruins um had a phenomenal regular season record just to get choked out in the playoff third round of the playoffs against the Florida Panthers up three one in the series and you choked the next four games. It was an absolute horrible horrible um memory for me and the rest of the Bruin fans. But um obviously you know what can you do? It's um you got to move on. Obviously it's a brand new season so. Um, you just got to move on. And so far, this Bruins is trying to get rid of from the... This Bruins team is on a mission. They had a great start, actually. Like I said, they had a great start. They dropped the game in overtime. They were up 3-1. They shot themselves in the face in that last game. I believe it was Thursday. Yeah, Thursday, October 26th, it was against the Ducks. We were up 3-1. And then they shot themselves in the uh, foot. Um, but um, obviously, the Bruins are trying to hide... The demon from a year ago. Um, after choking in the playoffs, obviously we have a mission to not make sure make sure that um, we do have a good regular season again, make the playoffs, and make sure that history doesn't repeat them. So, but we still have a long way to go in hockey. Um, but I want to talk about this kid that's phenomenal. This guy, um, I believe he almost had a hat trick. I um, I can't remember. Um, which game he almost had a hat trick, but his name is Matt Poltras. Um, Matt Poltras is absolute beast. I love this kid. He has speed. He he can make plays. He had one goal against the Blackhawks. Yes, um, I do want to recap some of the games. Um, obviously there were low scoring games. Um, obviously, um, but we started the season opener um, against the Blackhawks at home. Um, we ended up winning that game three to one. Um, David Pasternak, man, absolute beast in the first couple games. Um, obviously, um, we saw goals from, you know, obviously, we saw goals from, I believe David Pasternak scored in the first um, game of the um, of season. Obviously, um, we've seen David Pasternak go ham, obviously. Um, yes, um, David Pasternak scored one. And in, in that um, Predators game, the second game of the season, David Pasternak scored one, and that James Van Ristiska scored two. So that was great. Um, David Pasternak is an absolute beast. I love him. Um, obviously, um, there's a lot of talent that we got from the draft, obviously. Um, yes, yeah, so this is the one. Um, Brad Marchand gets his first goal as the captain against the Sharks. Um, this was the third game of the season, I believe. Brad Marchand gets a goal. David Pasternak, like I said, once again gets a goal. James Van Rent. I, I, I love this guy, James. I love this James guy. He's he's great, um, obviously. Um, uh, Jake DeBrosse, obviously, was dealing with an injury during the offseason, so I believe this was his game back. I'm not quite sure. Um, but, um, yes, this is the game that um, Brad Marchand had two, uh, two goals, three points. David Pasternak also had three points. Like I said, David Pasternak was on fire. Getting all these on. Um, it was the first four game that David Pasternak got back to back um, points. Uh, Morgan Geeky, like I said, Morgan Geeky is amazing. I love this kid. He's got to go against the Kings. Um, this Bruins team started off with a huge start, four and zero. Like I said, I love this guy. Um, obviously, um, but um, going on to uh, moving on to some of the other um, matchups. Um, this was against the Ducks. Yes, this is the guy that, this guy, I love this guy, Matt Potros. He had two goals, two points, and the other one was scored by Brad Marchand. Brad Marchand putting the work. Um, Matt, um, Matt Potros, Potros, obviously, um, he's he's great. And I like to see this guy, um, obviously, stay on this team for a while. He had the two goals against that Ducks team. And then he had another goal the following week. I believe it was against the, um, I believe it was against the Blackhawks. Yes, it was three nothing. Um, it was Matt Poltros again. Um, I love this. I I love I love this. Um, I love this Bruins squad this year. Um, obviously, it's gonna be a lot to handle with you know hold the whole Patrice Bergeron leaving and David Krejci. Uh, Milan Lucci, man, um, great to see him back. Like I said, Milan Lucci won 
the Stanley Cup was lost back in 2011, and he was all over the place until he decided to come back. Leon Lucci has not gotten a goal yet, um, obviously, um, but he did have an assist, um, a really, really nice um, play um, against the Ducks. It was actually against the Ducks. Um, I think I think Milan Lucci did get a point. I'm not quite, I don't actually remember, um, but I know that um, he had a really nice beat to David Patrick in that third goal. Um, I feel like that was the last game that we played against the Ducks. Um, by the way, the Bruins um, game, there's a Bruins game tonight, um, 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. The Bruins host the Detroit Red Wings. Um, but uh, Milan Lucci hasn't gotten his first goal yet. Um, I'd like to see him do that. Um, obviously, Bruins fan, you know how badass Milan Lucci is. Um, like I said, he had a nice um, assist to um, David Pasternak um, in one of the games. And Jeremy Swayman, um, obviously, um, um, he was pretty, he was awesome um, in that Blackhawks game. We won 3 0. He was, he had 23 saves. The, the, I like, I like Jeremy. Um, I like Jeremy Swayman. Um, people are saying that Omark might be done. Um, I didn't hear, I didn't see any um, update on Omark, but yes, he did play, um, obviously. Um, so um, Omark and Swayman, I would definitely start Swayman. Swayman's great. Um, but I guess they're doing a rotation in the goalies, but I'm not sure. But um, I love this squad. Obviously, Milan Lucci coming back and all. Um, and you know, you got um, you obviously got Derek For Forbert. Obviously, um, like I said, I love Morgan Geeky. He's great. Um, Pavel Stent, he's also great. Um, obviously, and. Um, you got you got the old school guys, you know, Brandon Carl, Charlie Coyle, who's been on this team, Trent Frederick, who, like I said, we signed to like a two year contract. And then we had um uh Deku Laku, he's another guy we signed. And um that's pretty much there's a lot of um players, um obviously they um like a lot of bench players. But um I love this Bruins team. Like I said, I love this Bruins squad. Obviously, we got to um, move on from what happened, the, the disaster season that we had last season. So, obviously, um, but um, this is going to be a great season. Um, obviously, um, there's still a lot of hockey to play, but hopefully the Bruins make the playoffs and they don't lose in round one. Um, you know, obviously, I love what um, Jimmy Montgomery is doing um, as a head coach for this franchise. Obviously, um, we obviously um, know what's going on, you know, what happened, you know, obviously um, things didn't work out with our last head coach, obviously, um, but um, I love what Jim Montgomery is doing for this Bruins franchise, um, but this team, Brad Marchand is your captain, that's going to be great, obviously, um, it's great to see Milan Lucci, I want Milan Lucci with the hard hits, I love, that's, that's basically that's what every Bruins um fan's dream is seeing Milan Lucci's the way that the, the how the hard hitting guy that he was when we had him in two thousand eleven. Um obviously this one clip of him um cross checking this guy into the glass and it shatters. Um what do you know, everyone loves Milan Lucci. Um obviously there's gonna be people saying that Brad Marchand's gonna be a dirty rat like always, but he's your captain, so obviously. Um, but I'm not going to talk too much. Um, the Boston Bruins season has, has officially started. Um, there's probably stuff over the offseason that I probably missed. So I do want to apologize. Um, like I said, I don't know if I'll be doing Bruins videos. Um, it's insane to do um, Bruins post-game videos every single time. Um, but um, I will definitely try to, if I have the time for you guys, definitely make videos once for a while during the season and just... Talk about their update, their um, progress. Bro. But so far, a great start. We're 6-0 and and 1. We lost in overtime, like I said. The last game, we just... We were up 3-1 and we just choked it out. And we have our next game, which is actually tonight, against the um, Detroit Red Wings. They're playing hot hockey right now where they're 5-2. and two, But we're 6-0. and oh. We got to show them that who's boss, um, obviously. But anyways, I'm Bruins Steel. Like I said, I want to apologize for not doing a Bruins video. And I'm pumped for the season. 
Um, we need to get rid of the demon that haunted us a season ago in the playoffs. Choking in the playoffs, um, obviously. Um, but anyway, that's Boston Bruins talk for you guys. I'm Boston Bruins. I'm Bruins Steel. Um, one of the great friends out there. I love the Boston Bruins. Been watching them for so long now. Um, I'll definitely do a Celtics video for you guys at some point. Um, the Celtics also started their season as well. Um, so I definitely find a time to do a, a Celtics video talk for you guys. Um, obviously, a lot of changes that happened for the Celtics I didn't talk about. Um, but obviously, I do want to get that Celtics video out for you guys. But this is Boston Bruins Talk with Bruins Steel. Thank you guys for watching. And if you guys haven't done so, be sure to like, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button for, for me. And thank you guys um, um, for watching. And I am out. Peace, guys. Thank you so much. And go Bruins.